The story begins with Frank Fama, a small-time criminal who absolutely adores New York City. Not just because of the food or the culture or any of that stuff. Frankie loves for the city stems from one thing and one thing only. Superheroes. These superheroes are always dealing with some kind of invasion or threat. When they're all caught up in saving the world from some alien god or whatever, that's when Frankie sees his golden opportunity to get some serious work done. This time, he decides to break into a fancy jewelry store. If he pulls off this job, he'll be set for a good couple of years. The heroes are too busy dealing with bigger fish to even care or bother about him. Well, almost all of them, that is. There's one hero who just can't seem to let Frankie off the hook. And that superhero is Spider-Man. He catches Frankie again and Frankie runs away shouting, Leave me alone! Why are you here? I saw you fighting one of those giant popsicles. Spider-Man jokes around and responds, Really? You're trying to run? Is there a sail in tracksuit somewhere? Because you're going to miss that. He webs up Frankie and says, Now Frankie, what did the shop door ever do to you to deserve such treatment? That door might have had a wife and kids. Frankie replies, Don't you ever stop talking. Your jokes are awful. Spider-Man smirks and says, Well, that is a matter of opinion. Spider-Man writes a note recounting all their past encounters and attaches it to Frankie before leaving him for the authorities. Three to five years later, Frankie decides to break into another warehouse. He ponders to himself. The thing about Rikers is, you've got nothing else to do but think. I've been approaching this all wrong, so I'll wait until the spider pants team fights some robot zombies or whatever, and then I'll pull off another gig. And this time, I've got a plan. Spider-Man shows up and sarcastically remarks, you must really love prison food, Frankie. Is the meatloaf at Rikers that good? However, before Spider-Man can react, he is ambushed by the Enforcers. Frankie had managed to convince them that he could deliver Spider-Man to them. The Ox throws a punch at Spider-Man and he says, Frankie, an ambush? Really? And here I thought that we had something special. The magical bond between a for-good dashing superhero and the not-so-dashingly handsome crook. Spider-Man uses his abilities and effortlessly defeats them. He webs up the Enforcers. Frankie desperately tries to flee and demands an explanation, shouting, Why well, you gotta keep picking on me? Look around. The world is going to hell and you gotta stop a robbery? Why? Why? Why me? I'm a nobody. I'm just some guy. Spider-Man says, You really think that crimes you commit don't matter? That nobody's ever gonna get hurt because of you? Frankie, buddy, I'm here to tell you I know different. The world might be going to hell. Alien slime monsters might be eating the Empire State Building. But until you stop doing what you're doing, I'm never going to stop finding you and putting you away. Because to me, you're not just some guy. Spider-Man leaves Frankie webbing him up for the authorities once again. Before swinging away, he leaves another note behind. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.